61 to 44 Detroit. Five and a half to go. A little bit more than that in the third quarter. Chauncey Billups way off, misses everything. They keep it alive. The shot clock keeps going, though. It's down to three in the corner. Hunter buries one. Biggest shot tonight has been how easy that Detroit has been able to run their half-court offense and get what they really want, get high-percentage shots. Clock to oh, five, boy. And again. So Hunter, known for his defense, comes in and provides a spark in order to give themselves some confidence so they can get it within striking distance once you start the fourth quarter. Those were Barry's first points of the game. And then Hunter gets fouled. So Hunter is the guy on a run right now. That's seven points in the last minute or so and a chance for an eighth. Well, this young guy, when he first came in the league out of Jackson State, he came in as a primetime scorer. Uh, he put a lot of numbers on the board and, young, and early in his career he could score the ball for whatever reason this year he has just struggled with his perimeter game and you can see the low percentage but it's nice to see him back because he's a great team player and he's a terrific defensive player who expends a ton of energy and then another detroit steal because you know san antonio is dangerous they're dangerous right now because as good as you're playing, this game is not out of reach. Hunter trying to put it out of reach. I mean, he has just been a man in all of the man categories with the rebound and steals a block shot. But that is his third jump shot outside of 15 feet. And another steal, and then Hunter. And only a couple of mysteries remain. Will they get 100? They probably will. Will they set the record for fewest turnovers in the game if they don't turn it over? They'll do that as well. They have seven players, seven in double figures. They have 13 steals. They're on their way to making the NBA Finals a best of three with game five here on Sunday night. Dominant Detroit.